Yeah, so I actually stayed here an extra day. I paid another ten dollars. <laughs> stayed here because it poured all day yesterday. I just stayed inside and <laughs> it's not gonna let up. So, and I remembered the reason I came here originally was to dump the tanks. Yeah, well, last night I pretty much filled my black tank past the tank and it started to go up the tube, you know, like near the toilet. Yeah, it is time to leave. So, we're gonna go play in the rain in Arkansas. We're gonna go dump the tanks, we're gonna hit the road, we're gonna, we're gonna figure something out, because uh, staying parked in the rain is not my idea of fun. I did stop at Napa Auto on the way out of town and I finally replaced my windshield wipers. They were very much overdue, but now we're seeing clear. Seeing clear right through the rain, right? Yeah, well, it's just gonna be one of those drives, I guess. Oh well, make the most of it. All right, y'all know how I feel about rain. I don't like to film in it. I don't like really like to be out in it. I don't have to be, <laughs> but hey, we are about 50 feet away from the Missouri state line and we are greeted by the world's largest can of Bud Light. Yes, that's awesome. And right there, welcome to Missouri. Misery, welcome to Misery, Eric, it's been a while. <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's some grub here I can grab. See if the rain will let up a little bit. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go try to find some breakfast here at the Longhorn Grill. Looks promising, right? Yeah. Got the state liner. What a neat little truck stop diner in there. It cracked me up. It was a little quiet at times. So I didn't want to film a whole lot. You know, they're all rugged truckers in flannel jeans and boots, but the two waitresses in there though, they're so friendly. They know everybody's name who walks in. They're like, you gonna have the usual today, Frank? <laughs> it's funny. And she's like flirting with all of them, sitting down, being all nice. And that's fun though. <laughs> I get to do some more rain driving. Woohoo, sign me up. <laughs> yeah. Might as well put on some miles then. This counts as an RV wash. Woohoo! <laughs> oh man. Well, the crops out there need it, right? <laughs> I just had a brilliant idea, y'all. I'm gonna go see a movie. Um, up here in Missouri, there's another movie tavern. I like AMC, a the A list and all that, but the movie taverns are uh, the big reserved wide recliners and the push button service for food and drinks and alcohol. So I'm gonna go try to catch Zombieland Double Tap with Woody Harrelson. Oh yeah. Otherwise, this is basically what we're looking at. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, I'm here and ironically, the rain has now stopped just for the moment. Marcus Cinema Dream Lounger here in Arnold, Missouri. Arnold, Missouri. And uh, a, a little tip, if you're an RVer and you're going to see a movie, and if you've been following my channel, you know I've had lots of problems parking an RV in a theater parking lot. It's very strange. But for some reason, I've had lots and lots of problems. The biggest one, you guys remember in Olympia, Washington, I came out from a movie at the Capitol Mall and the security guard was at my RV with one of my compartment doors open, digging through my personal property in my RV. And I started running from the thief. What are you doing? Get away from my RV. I'm trying to get this person out of the RV. He's not allowed to be here. What person? That's my RV. There's nobody in there. And I just got out of the movie theater. And he continued on. He's like, no, I hear somebody in there. Dude, this is my RV. I'm calling the cops right now. It's like, whoa, you can't. <laughs> I called the cops. And, you know, the Olympia Mall did apologize and gave me a free movie ticket even. But there have been other times. I've been in the movie theater and had my phone go off telling me that the alarm on my RV was going off. And, you know, in the movie theater, I looked at the video. There's a security guard pounding on my RV, setting the alarm off. He was hitting it so hard. It's very weird. So... <laughs> 
I have learned that movie theaters just hate the look of RVs. So I have to, before I go in, I take a picture of my RV, I go inside, show them my ticket, say, hey, I need to talk to your manager. Manager comes up and I say, hi, this is my RV. It's gonna be here for an hour and a half while I'm a paying customer in the theater. Will you please not bang on my RV or have it towed or break into it trying to get inside my RV? That seems to uh, negate most of the problems. It shouldn't really be a problem, but like I said, movie theaters and me and my RV do not get along well. So Jack's man will be good in here by himself. I will be back in an hour and a half. I'll let you know how the movie is. And uh, maybe I'll, if there's not too many people in there, maybe I'll show you some clips of what it looks like in there. If you've never seen a movie tavern theater and how it works and everything. Of course, it's not too busy for the matinee and it's only nine bucks. This is the lobby. It's pretty massive and there's even a, a game room over there too. Okay, it's not the version where you push the button and they come serve you. That's movie tavern. This is Marcus Theater. Uh, it's a little different, but still assigned seating. And look at this theater. It's all recliners. <laughs> I'm the only one here. <laughs> How many theaters you been to where you can drink a Bud Light while you're watching the movie? Oh yeah. And popcorn. I love movies. I'm usually an AMC A-list person. <laughs> I've got so many selfies of me and popcorn buckets. Maybe I'll flash some on the computer for you too. So I take a lot of selfies with popcorn. I love, love, love my buttered popcorn. It was a really good movie. For, for a sequel, it was, it was a fantastic movie. Really funny. They, they did really good. And a little Bill Murray extra scene there in the credits at the end was definitely worth sticking around. Two other people joined me in the theater. That was it. Just the three of us. <laughs> Gonna do some urban lot docking here at the Cracker Barrel of Arnold. My Allstays app says they are uh, friendly to RVs overnight. I'm not hungry, so I'm not gonna go in right now, but I may go in for breakfast in the morning. But I'm tickled to death to see all these different colors of leaves and trees everywhere, yeah. The kitty needs attentions. Oh my, an empty bowl? But it's such a nice looking bowl, it's so shiny. You don't care about a shiny bowl? You just want a full bowl? All right, man, we'll take care of that right now. You gonna flop? You can flop. And he flopped. <laughs> I missed you, buddy. Sorry you couldn't come in. There's no kitties allowed in there. Nope. Oh, my. You showing off? You showing off. Oh, yeah. All right, good morning, everybody. I slept okay. I did have to wake up at some point and put the earplugs in because of the traffic noise. We're really close to the highway. But, no, I slept fine. I am going, I got the water heater on right now. We're gonna go over to Walmart, get some supplies, fill up propane, uh, and I'm gonna go surprise my friends in East Alton a little bit early. At least I think it'll be a surprise. <laughs> That's the plan. Gonna head through St. Louis and into East Alton, Illinois. Well, whoops, I totally forgot to film a close to this video when I got here yesterday. Uh, I am in Illinois now. I'm at my buddy's shop here at Modified Auto in East Alton, Illinois. This is where I'll be for Thanksgiving. Not saying I will be here the entire time. May, I, may go on a few local trips or do some Route 66 stuff nearby, but we are flat out breaking some records here. I think breaking records, yeah. So 12 degrees tonight and 10 degrees tomorrow night. No snow yet. Oh, we are gonna get some early snow, so uh, it is what it is, man. I'm happy to be here. I feel like it's time to relax and regroup. I will not stop making videos though, so don't worry. Uh, and yeah, so Jackson, I'll see you soon. <laughs> All right, good night, guys. Woo.